If anything big happened in Myrtle Beach over the past half century, chances are Jack Thompson has a picture of it. Long gone landmarks, the Pavilion, Ocean Forest Hotel, live on in his studio. But now the lease is up on the building where he's been for 15 years. The property owner wants to expand and Jack has to be out by the end of this month. So I had a 30 day notice, but I have a 50 year photographic museum Jack's affair with Myrtle Beach began in 1951 when he was just 13 years old. He and two friends hitchhiked to Myrtle Beach from Greenville. And when they got here, his friends headed straight to the ocean. Jack smelt photochemicals. I stopped at the photo stand and I said, do you need any help? He said, well, uh, when can you start? I said, I get a hamburger and a milkshake, I'll start right now. Jack has been photographing the Grand Strand ever since thousands of images for which the future is now uncertain. Jack says he has gotten offers for space in places like Surfside or other spots around the Grand Strand, but in the end, he is Mr. Myrtle Beach. I fell in love with Myrtle 55 years ago, and I'm still in love with her, and I want to stay in Myrtle Beach. Jack says his days of running a photo studio are over, but he still wants to have a gallery to display and sell his treasures. Jack is actively looking for a new location and, with the help of friends, believes he'll find one. I'm still looking forward to working with them and enjoying what fate has in store for me. Fate shined on him before, Jack says, and it will again. In Myrtle Beach, Joel Allen, WPDE News Channel 15.